And welcome back to redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. I'm your host Mikey and in today's tutorial we're going to explore a stitch called the raised crochet treble. This looks like little pebbles um, I've found with the cats. They love the texture on this particular stitch. Really quite nice and fabulous to do. If you change the colors uh, lots of times you are going to end up with a really interesting project. So today we're doing this as part of Stitchcation, an Afghan sampler project and today I'm showing you how to do the stitches in order to do so and then I'll leave the border and all the other stuff of Stitchcation up to you. But today it's all about the raised crochet treble and let's get started right now. To get started we're just going to pull a strand and make a slip knot. You will notice it in the pattern that I provided in the more information of this video is that you'll find that it's a 3.75 millimeter or size F crochet hook for the pattern. Now for Stitchcation I used a 5.0 millimeter size I and for this one I'm using a size 6 or a size J. Make sure that the yarn complements the hook and of course I'm using Red Heart Super Saver today. So for the actual square for Stitchcation we are going to chain 36. Remember this one on the hook already does not count as one. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Please go all the way to 36 and I'll see you in back in just a moment. To start off with the chain properly what we want to do is that we want to single crochet ourselves along this chain. So it says that we have to go second chain from the hook so we got 1 and 2 turn it over and get the back loop of that chain. It sticks up just like the back of a sea serpent or a spine and basically you just want to single crochet yourself all the way across only using the spine or the hump or the back loop whatever you want to call it. So just please do that to single crochet all the way across and I'll see you back in just a moment. So I've now come all the way across. I want to turn my work and let's begin and it's just really easy. We're just going to chain one and single crochet into the first and now I'm going to explain. So we have trebles that we're going to be doing and trebles we wrap and wrap and then into the stitch and then continue and what happens is that the treble is much taller versus the single crochet and what's happening is that because it doesn't have the room to grow it's going to pop out and look like pebbles. So what we want to do is that we want to wrap and wrap going into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two, two and two. See how high that was in comparison to the, the single crochet? So in order for it to pebble out the next one will be single crochet like that. Okay, So the pebbling can either come out the front or it can come out the back whatever you prefer. That's the one thing that you just have to make up your mind when you're doing it uh, to make sure that you're consistent each and every time. So wrap and wrap okay into the next stitch okay and just let it go and then single crochet to the next. I would be inclined it's naturally wanting to go to the back. I would be inclined to let it go to the back. You know why, why not right? So wrap and wrap into the next why fight something that it's naturally wanting to do on its own? It really, I don't think you even, even think it really matters. So just continue to do that. So you'll notice on the front it looks pretty flat, but on the back you're starting to see the pebbling taking effect. So please do that all the way across and I'll meet you back in just a moment. Take you further into this stitch. So we're coming up to the very end of the row. I'm just maintaining that every other one is the treble and the other one is the single and you're going to end up with a single right at the end. Easy right? So we're going to turn our work and you'll notice that all the pebbling is now in front. Isn't that pretty severe? Isn't that fabulous? It's no wonder the cats like it. I want to grab it. <laughs> so this is very much like the other stitch creation squares that one row is all the work and then the second row which is now is just chain one single into the first and single crochet into each one going across. So you're only going to do the troubling stuff every other row and then single crochet the rows in between those. So it becomes really easy. So let me uh, get all the way to the end. You can change your colors at any point. It looks fabulous and it's something that I would strongly encourage. So now come all the way and this is operating very much like um, most of the other stuff where everything is going to work up in a straight line. This is not like the popcorn. The popcorn one that came out it came every other one. So you had one, two and then three like a triangle. This one here these will stick out straight going up in the in, in a vertical and horizontal position. So let's uh, begin again. We are going to chain one, single crochet into the first and then treble into the next. And you already know how to do this. And because it naturally wanted to go toward the back before it's going to naturally do it again. So you don't need to worry about you know 
worrying about if these pebblers are going to end up on the right side or not because of the way that the pattern is written but also because naturally it's also falling into the direction that you want it to go. So this is a very easy, very simple. Um, I think this is a really interesting idea. I'd love to, to try this in the future with other projects to see how it will work out and um, this is overall an amazing stitch and you can see that it's really starting to work out pretty good. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. Thank you so much and join me next time for more free ideas, patterns and etc. We'll see you.